I'm just gonna clap periodically through the interview. Well, <laughs> that's all right. Jeremy doesn't have to edit it. I do. Yeah, that's true. Oh, so it's all right. Make it good for you. Excellent at work. Okay. And that one in the middle. Yeah, that's that where we'll start. Yes. That's the it's only one that we. How do you pronounce your last name? For real. Welcome to Love It or Roof It, the show where we talk about movies and let you know whether or not we love them or we're going to tear them apart because it's fun tearing other people's stuff apart. I'm Chuck. I'm Jeremy. And that's Jameson Stahl. Moonrat? What's your name? Jameson's fine. We'll just leave it there. How about that? James Jameson. Jameson. That's Jameson. Um, so, we actually recently, Twin Pines, participated in the 54 Film Festival, 54 Hour Film Festival here in. Oh, I won't say where we live. Knoxville! <laughs> it's in okay. eight, South nine, four, Africa. Three. <laughs> Knoxville, South Africa. Let me give you the address for where these guys live. <laughs> it's like, no, no. So you can come find them. Bleep this out. <laughs> and. Hold for edit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jameson. Yeah. You were actually the festival director this year. Normally you participate every year. Yeah, like I, I participated last year. And, uh, and then we were contacted by the owner of the festival who lives in Nashville. And uh, he says, we're too like disconnected from from uh, Knoxville. We don't we don't know the we don't know the you know the people quite as well. So, what do you think about you know taking over it? And we're like, yeah, you know, I think it, it was gonna be easy. It was actually a lot harder than than it seems. But um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was exciting and it was great to be on like the other end of the festival. So. I got. I think I got to enjoy the movies more because I wasn't competing against them. Mm. Um, usually, when you're competing and you're watching all the films in the theater, you know you're sitting like this, just like, like oh, this one better not. This one better not. That's yeah. that's how you are, right? All like, the time. Like you see the you see yeah. the films come up and then you're like, it's like, oh, this one this one looks prettier than mine. And it's like, oh, yeah. And you judge it immediately too. Within the use like the the first frame of the movie when it starts, if it's really good lighting or really good frame, you're just like. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then and then you see a bad edit and you're like, oh, 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 okay. oh gosh. Oh, oh, this when one, that this audio clips sucks. a little bit, you're like, oh, they have oh, bad audio. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but being being on the other side of it, being like the festival uh, director, then it was like I got to watch you know all, all the movies and things like oh they're 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 all terrible. That's great. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I, it's like I get to watch them and, and then enjoy them. Yeah. Just for like the entertainment value. Yeah. You're not was, seeing them was, as competitors. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's it was just like I mean, if if I didn't like somebody, I could make them lose <laughs> because I am kind of the man behind the curtain. But yeah. I, I didn't do that. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys won, so. And you said you were yeah. in it last year. How'd it do last year? Um, it, it was it was it was uh, uh, good. It was yeah. good. I, I don't I don't remember. Um, I mean, we did a pretty good film. I don't remember how how the festival was. was. You you did it you did it last year too. Right? Yeah yeah we did I think so. Well, yeah. We, we had a we had a little film in there you know coined you know. Yeah. Check coined. it out Twin, Twin Pines. Do you remember it? I don't, I don't. I don't think I remember. <laughs> you won. You won something, right? Like, yeah, I think so. I think it was yeah. best film. Best film. Judges' favorite. Audience favorite. I just. I just don't really remember that much um, <laughs> about it. We won uh, several awards yeah. ourselves, um, yeah. and a lot of a lot of people have said that they, they you know they liked ours you know best, and mm -hmm. and uh, that that ours is very memorable. And, well, you know, um, mothers can be really nice, you know? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I heard there's a song that says Money Talks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but in all honesty, though, I, I think they, he cleaned our clock the year before. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. With Straw Man. Yeah, That's, Straw Man was awesome. 
I don't think we won that year either. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it was the, it was oh, the right. Bob, Bob <laughs> Fakes a Wish or whatever or something like that. Oh, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're yeah. Just, so whoops. they weren't. They weren't in it the last two years, so yeah. maybe that's why. <laughs> Darn. Man, people are going to think we're serious. <laughs> it's awful. And they're just going to be like, man, those Twin Pines guys, man. Man, they're very... <laughs> they're just very awful. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, but this, this was like, you guys you guys won this year, and you, you won last year, and that's, yeah. I mean, that is pretty, that's pretty awesome. It was, so. it was, it was... It was interesting. It was yeah. fun. It was unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> Both years. Well, I think it was. Yeah. I, I think it was. Um, you know, pretty well deserved. I mean, like this year. I mean, like um, canned got like a huge response from yeah. the judges, and then we have like a, a general audience that's like made up comprised of like thirty people, mm -hmm. and it, I mean, it was like that was. It was one of the most entertaining. Uh, uh, films of the festival oh, just thanks. very well crafted thanks, so awesome. um, but the competition this year seemed like it was the awards seemed more uh spread out yes, i guess amongst the winners nice you know out. it wasn't like you know coined won 13 or whatever it was and then like a couple years before that you cleaned house and won 12 happy birthday or, happy birthday yeah won a lot it, and, yeah it, there's always it always seemed like there was, there would be like one or two films that would like really rake it in and, mm -hmm. and this year it it, it was we tried our best to to organize the judging in a way that we would get the most diverse uh, sort of um, results. So, because we wanted to make sure that all the films, especially because there are so many uh, uh, just good films on several different levels, we wanted it. Uh, we wanted the chances to be very good, and so I think we I think we figured out a way. Or actually, uh, my wife uh, Tiffy, who was the um, she was like the film fest producer so i mean she like really organized all the details and she figured out like the best i think the most fair judging system because we don't know how it was judged before uh it was just always you'd see like one film would win like everything and then like there'd be maybe like two other winners and yeah. and, and that was it um but also just because there were so many interesting and fantastic films that and that was one thing I really liked about this year was how um, Tiffy and you were very, uh, you explained exactly the phases of the judging and everything like that. And you were very open with how the judging was going to take place and how it worked and everything like that. And it was less of a mystery um, to it. So yeah, because well, really I, nice. think, I think other, otherwise uh, people think that, you know, it just might be the festival runners judging all the films like in their garage or, or something like that and like you don't want you don't want people thinking that because th then it's just like oh well then their you know their buddy's gonna win everything and so like we had to remove ourselves from it and and that was and that was weird because there were some results that that would come from some of the judges and I would not understand like I would read you know read their voting and I'm just I don't I don't get this at all like I don't, I don't know what they saw in this film or how how come they hated this film when I thought it was so good but it it really I think it really did balance out in the most uh, fair way possible and so um, so with love it or if it I figured it's like what well, we figured um, let's go down through the uh, all the movies that were in there which there were several yeah, and just kind of you know give a few words on films. each one. Yeah. Twenty nine films. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of student films this year too. Yeah, I think we had about ten uh, student teams this year, and um, some of them like they really, I mean, they really uh, brought it. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it was it was some of the best student films this year that uh, that we had seen in previous years. Yeah. So. yeah, it was really awesome to see like a a bunch of new faces. This is the third year uh, that I was doing. It's fourth mm -hmm. for Chuck. Yeah, and so. Um, just from last year or whatever, seeing all the new people and everything like that. Of course, I was just, just kind of all these people were strangers to me last year too, though. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's always it always seems to be a different crowd, and, and I think part of that is. Um, but this year we had um, there was two teams from out of town. We had a team from uh, Johnson City, uh, and then we had a team from Athens, and they're like they were like two hours away, and I was so surprised that they. Uh, like signed up and they made it to the kickoff and I'm like well I'm glad you guys are here but you're gonna have a hard time like yeah. making it to the drop off yeah. and they just they like barely made it they had a guy sitting 
at, at the drop off with a laptop trying to download the the uh, uh, Dropbox file of their oh, film. So, but they made it in. So it's a pretty smart way to do it, though. Dude. Yeah. Well, I, I think they were there, really. Like, it was a nail biting oh, experience for cool. just watching them. I was feeling nervous. I was just man, I'd hate to be that team from Athens. Oh but yeah. They're the ones that did. Um, they did a fun pack. Oh okay was, yeah. And so when when I finally I when we saw it. When I finally saw it, I was so glad that it like got. I'm yeah. glad this gets to compete because yeah, it's hysterical. Yeah. But, All right, uh, so uh, basically, let's just go down the list. Um, we'll start with block A and then go to block B because that's how it, that's, that's how it went. That's that's, that's order. Yeah. <laughs> if we didn't have order, there would just be chaos, right? Yeah. And then and then it'd be the seven day. Oh, um, shots fired. You watching Keith? <laughs> probably not. He, he, probably not. No, he's, he's, he's too busy doing a podcast. That's... We have like three views consistently. I don't think he's one of them. <laughs> okay, so very first film that kicked it off was Jacob Boyd's post-retro productions, The Mandrake. The Mandrake. Yeah. Not conceive a child, and we were wondering if we could seek your wisdom and you could help us. Oh my! This was a weird film. Yes, like, it was a cool film. <laughs> yeah, but it was really weird. It yeah. was different than than like the other stuff that that Jacob is is done. Yes. And I've yes. worked with him before, and I don't know how he forms his ideas. Really, uh, you know, typically I think he just kind of like takes various elements that are just like happening in his life. And then just sort of like meshes them together, yeah. and this like I could not figure out <laughs> where this idea came from. Well, but one thing that was is his wife. We know is expecting. They're expecting. Yeah, yeah. So well, I, well, that that I hope her... they did. They announce that. I think so. I yeah. So. I, well, I then the five so. viewers <laughs> just got it spoiled. Sorry, Jacob. Jacob boy is <laughs> gonna be a daddy again. Congratulate him on Facebook. <laughs> Well, I think that was her because you see the pregnant stomach. the belly. Yeah. yeah, so that was her. In I thought the it was so real. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah, it was, I was real. Like, how did how did Jenny get that prop? <laughs> the stomach no, no, prop they, just, to work. they just they just switched out the oh, yeah. actress. A stunt so, belly. <laughs> yeah. So maybe yeah. So maybe he had a lot of like you know just thinking about the journey of becoming a father, and this is how he in, interpreted that. And, and uh, plant man. Yeah, with plant a plant man. man. So the I, mandrake. That was the the yeah. titular mandrake. Yeah. Yeah, which was you know it was it was really surprising because you know he started this film, and you're just really wondering where it's going, and and then you know it gets to that point where they're I mean, they pull Joe Caster line out of the <laughs> ground. And he's got this stuff hanging off his face. And, <laughs> well, it was so shocking. It, it just was totally so, took me by surprise. It was, I was like, so oh, surreal. Was like, yeah. Whoa. It's a plant man. But at, but, at, but at the same time, they also, in order to see the mandrake, they had to eat this herbal medicine. So it was like, was, <laughs> hey. were they really seeing hey. a mandrake? Or, no. or was this just because... Uh, ah. so, I mean, that talking bush and three amigos. Yeah, the singing bush. Yeah, the singing bush. That's right, and three amigos. No, I really enjoyed it. Uh, just the surrealness of it all. It yeah. made it really interesting because you were like, what's going on? But it was in a good way, you know? Yeah, it, it, it created, it was just a very strange sort of world. Like everything mm -hmm. created this atmosphere. It felt very old world, but then it was set in the future. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was a film that took place in no particular time. And mm -hmm. so it was it was anything, you know, could happen. And, and which is great because you can get away with a lot of stuff if you just like, it's a timepiece that's set in no particular time. And, yeah. yeah. And I thought they did a, a tremendous job just uh, crafting that whole world. And, you know, and yeah, when you watch the building. film, you are in place there. It doesn't feel like a costume drama or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. The know. world building was just excellent. And it had, you know, had a really kind of cool message to it, too, with the... Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm going to spoil it. You spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> About how, you know, it's like uh, they chose whether or not to take that man's life. And by saying no, that's what actually granted them the ability to have a kid. Yeah. yeah. You know, or Mother Earth came and said, Ooh, because you Yeah. Know. And it's, yeah, just a very cool, ethereal sort of yeah. ending. And then, yeah. yeah. And, and like you said, it was set in the future, so it's, but with these mythical, you know, 
yeah, creatures. It's sort of like a retro future. All yeah. Play. yeah. It was very post makes any sense. retro. <gasps> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jacob, <laughs> you freaking genius, it was man. Post retro. Post retro. <laughs> oh. oh. My mind. Man. My mind. He deserves the <laughs> best. Runner-up film or what was it? Runner-up for best yeah, he film. Yeah, he got a few actually. Uh, he got a few. Oh, and it was it was a really close call. That like that film did very well, and I think there was a lot of people who watched it. It's like I don't understand this film, but man, did I like yeah, it! Yeah, like, see, even if you don't understand it, it sticks out to you because of little elements in it. So that, that's what you need to do. It's right? very rememberable. Yeah. You need to it's, stand out. It's yeah. very nice. Um, yeah. Well, good job. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Very good film. <laughs> Okay, so the next up uh, was uh, Little Monster by the Songa Media Group. Yeah, this is this was a very strange one. Yeah. And um, it was also had some of the scariest sound design yes. to it. Like everything was, there was a lot of grunt, like, yeah. yeah, and there's also a lot and, of earth noise too that stood out throughout yeah. it, you know? Well, like, yeah, it had like really good, uh, just uh, Foley art and, yeah. and, and it, it, yeah, that's one that just created, I don't really know exactly what the plot is. You know, that's yeah, the one it was, thing. It, it left a lot just for interpretation. Like yeah. so much for yeah, interpretation. And, but it, it just created that sort of sense of uneasiness. And um, uh, and I think the, the guy smoking the pipe was just like one of the coolest looking, you know, shots in, in yeah. the festival. Yeah. You know, he, he just looked very menacing. And, he was yeah. very cool. Yeah. Um, and I love the color too. It was very vibrant, which is something you don't get a whole lot of in... Mm -hmm modern movies at all so i just like the vibrancy of it it was one it was definitely like one of the you know just prettiest looking uh, mm -hmm. uh movies and i think they they even though there's a lot of well shot films they i think they took home the uh, best cinematography yeah. Yeah. um and there was again there was a lot of a lot of films that just did a great job but yeah something about it was just very strange and beautiful yeah. and uh um, also the titles too. It it should have won the most epic titles. Like it really award. did. It, yeah, it had like, like it those spergolites and just it was yeah. It was like man, this is epic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So new award for next year. Most epic. Most titles. Epic, epic titles. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. There was, a, there was a typo in in, in one of their titles though. So. Oh, was well, uh, I, I didn't catch it. No. Oh well, I only caught it like after like watching it several times. And then, uh, <laughs> it's like at that it's, point, you're just picking stuff apart. You're like, uh. yeah, it's like that says profuser, you know, <laughs> but like again, it's just like, <laughs> it's like you gotta type these things out quick. You don't oh, have a lot no. of time to make. I am well aware. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Spell correcting your check auto. You know, I wish Photoshop call? had spell Auto check, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Photoshop does not have spell check, so it's like you put it in the movie, and Jeremy makes it export. And it's like Chuck, you spelt Sean Cowan wrong. Or... <laughs> yeah, there's an E in his name. <laughs> there was yeah, there was a few films that like we had to we had to take in like some corrected uh, credits because mm -hmm. just mm. so many of them made made errors, and 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 of course I myself like. Apparently on one of the awards I made a typo on. I don't know. Oh. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, that's funny. But it's typing them out, so somebody's got a messed up award too. That makes so. it worth more money. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's like Beanie Babies. You know? I mean, I, I've made like so much on eBay from all those certificates yeah. already. So it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, Little Monster was uh, very creepy. I, I don't know what the visual effect. That they were using, but there's there was just these little shots of the girl like crawling around. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was very just just very unnerving. And it yeah. was there was no words. It was all like music and sound design, except for the one. There was line. one line of dialogue, and that was the line of dialogue. And then and there was some there was some uh, voiceover uh, from a radio. But yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. But yeah, it was a very stark and and yeah. just kind of. Uh, troubling, you know, uneasy sort of atmosphere. And yeah, my interpretation of it was that the girl was some sort of a monster, and the old man, I hate 
sorry for referring to you as that, but the older guy. Well, he was old. Yeah. <laughs> he was killing her and knew that she was a monster, but she yeah, escaped. Yeah, I think he was, I, I think he must have been like some guy that's like out hunting these horrible beasts. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and I wondered what would happen if the, uh, I was curious what would have happened if the woman had managed to like get the girl in the car and like drive away. Yeah. And then she was just like eating her face yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Was, she died an easy, a much easier death yeah. <laughs> getting shot as an innocent bystander. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was really good. Um, I will say they were the dre- he, uh, the best dressed individual at the awards. That sh- suit shirt that he was wearing. Oh the man, gl- yeah, the gold yeah. and black thing. That's right. Yeah, very sharp dressed. That has nothing to do with the movie. I just no. It stood out to me that oh, oh yeah. these are sharp dressed. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh sorry, gone. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> the next I movie. Quit. <laughs> I'm done. It's like, no, wait, come back. We still have like 26 more films to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so the next movie was Dinner for Five by Blessed Melody Productions. Zeke. Get your butt out of bed, you lazy bum. Zeke! This was another bizarre one, um, but one of some of the best acting cast-wise. I think yeah. the, yes. the ensemble yeah. uh, was was terrific, and it was very witty and funny, and had like some great one-liners in it. And mm-hmm. uh, um, it had a lot of great laughs. Uh, the audience was really with it too. Yeah. It's like with almost every single one-liner, it was like everyone in the audience was laughing with it. And even oh, the little yeah. moments, like the one guy whacking himself in the face the first time with the nunchuck, you know, everyone was like, oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. That's yeah. Well done. No, it made, it made us laugh, and, and uh, I think my favorite, favorite line is, you know, they, they had the two uh, women yeah. who were just really at each other's yeah. throats. Of course, everyone was at each other's throats throughout yeah. the whole movie. Mm-hmm. There was just such a comical bitterness <laughs> in all the characters that wasn't really explained, but, like, didn't have to be. It no. was yeah, just yeah. like... But um, the, the one line is uh, the, the girl, you know, turns to... Uh, um, uh, Megan Jones was the was the uh, actress. Uh, I guess her character's name was Z. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Turns to her and is like, uh, it's like, don't you have a cough in the yeah. crawl back into? And her reply was like, at least my nose doesn't prevent it from closing. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one of the best like comebacks. Oh yeah. Of, and Zing. Yeah. 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 I think there's a there's an audible ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the theater. Yeah. It was great. Uh, and the the ending too the over the credits because you're the whole uh, thing is like well what is this the prize gift you know what's the reveal of it you know and they kind of tease the car you know because the the one person like, let me bring come inside and show you the car or whatever and you're like oh that's the prize possession it's gonna be the keys and she comes out with a yeah kind of like, take it out for a ride yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then that last shot of her like with a with the the slow kite. motion and yeah. just the slow reveal of it too as she's running and then you see yeah. it come up it's like eh, that's, that's that's also really great. one of one of the uh, might be one of the only films that used both uh elements yes their elements uh, were they could either use a kite or mm. uh, an umbrella so mm-hmm. they had an umbrella fight scene that's and we right thought, oh that was it and then at the end there was that twist it's like oh they also got the kite in there too <laughs> so they're i think they might be the only film that used both of oh, them that's cool and uh, that's awesome. uh yeah just very funny uh acting in it just yeah. oh, really yeah. great acting really really made it just hilarious yes. it's very well done Next one is A Blind Date by UT Short Films Club. A uh, Blind Date was, um, um, it, it was, uh, she, the, the actress, or the girl was, she was getting ready to go on this date, she gets a phone call. That's right, that's that the right. Guy was yes. in jail. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, yes, yes. Also, this was the only, this was the only film that was shot in 4K. Oh, wow. Uh, which is a bit of a shame that it got compressed down yes. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, everything got, like, ultra compressed for, for that uh, film, because when it, when it first opened up, when we put on the timeline, it was just like, it had to squeeze it down. Uh, I forget what camera they were using, but uh, um, but yeah, it was, it was initially as exciting. Oh, this is gonna look great, and then yeah, yeah, we're gonna like, shrink it down. It still looked pretty good. It had some it had some great uh, cinematography. Yeah. Um, they had they had trouble, and I and I was I was 
I'm very interested to know like how how the production went because the the last scene of that film it went from like daytime <laughs> yeah. to nighttime yes. like yeah. really quick yes and i've been in that situation so many times that like when i was watching it i, I think all i could feel was like you, you know the, the director must have just been doing this oh yeah the whole time yeah. <laughs> because you can't stop it from happening yeah. and, I, and that same thing so i identified greatly with that, that <laughs> with that fight, part that of struggle. It. It's like that's what was more interesting when I was watching it and that was happening. It was like, man, you know, there's some sort of great, just really stressful story between all these cuts, right? Here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's the second they, they cut and have to set up the camera. You know, the air is like, oh, oh. It was in and daylight, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah. And 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 especially like you, you've got like another. 10 scenes you got to shoot after that <laughs> yeah. so you yeah. can't slow down you can, and uh um but it was a very interesting and the actress uh, the main actress of the, of the film uh i think did a uh, did a pretty yes. tremendous yes. job yeah. she did really good <laughs> Bed Sheets by Bad Luck Productions. That was the one with the ghost. This was the one with the ghost, yeah. yes. That one was really interesting to me because it, it felt like very much like an indie uh, film, like an indie hipster type film. And I hope they don't find that offensive. But <laughs> <laughs> just... No, I assume, I assume that they were indie hipster filmmakers. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it kind of had, had the feel of like Juno, those yeah. types of movies. Yeah. You know? yeah. it, it, it had some really, it had some really uh, um, just cool imagery to it. Yes. Um, and there was, a, there was a kind of a, uh, there, was, there was a strange surrealist sort of comedy to it. Mm. Uh, there was moments that, you know, felt serious, that, but were also, also felt very funny. Yes. Yeah. Um, they dealt with the subject matter in a lighthearted way. It seemed like you know, yeah, very it's, innocent. It's, it's, in, the, innocent one, it's the one film that you know. I think it, it would have been interesting if they could have made a longer film. I mm -hmm. would have been interested to see what more to the story they would have put in. Well, it took me a little bit, uh, a couple minutes before I realized even what was going on, and I was yeah. like, oh, why? Why she look like? Why is she in a bed sheet? Yeah. <laughs> and then as it went on, I was like, oh, okay. They're dead. That's, that's cool. It's like yeah. a really a great way to show it. I was just gonna say I really liked how it's uh, it kind of at the beginning started in a very dreary way with the main actress laying in a puddle of her own vomit, and then it twisted you know into like the whole bed sheet story. I was kind of concerned. I was like, oh, this gonna be some movie that's gonna punch me in the face with. with Drug and, abuse or something, and, and it, it made you it made you feel really good uh, afterwards. It was just very, it was a very lighthearted uh, yeah. yeah. kind of way of uh, uh, one of the uh, films that I think was nominated for the Awareness Award this year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just in the way that it dealt with it, uh, it was it was sensitive and yeah. uh, funny at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is One Lucky Day by Team Fire Butch. Good morning. Hey man, I made you some coffee. Dude, thanks. I could really use a cup. This is the one where the roommate was leaving. He was like, feels like a lucky day. And he just... It, had a, yeah, it, was a real, it was a real sort of slapstick kind of... Yes. Uh, um, had, that, had a very silent movie sort of uh, feel mm. to it. Just a, a, a series of calamities. Yeah. Yes. Um, one of my favorite gags in it was actually when uh, he goes to start his car. He's like, he won't start. So he goes, ah. Oh. So he gets out, opens the hood, and he can't figure it out. So he goes back, and then he realizes he's locked. And the his keys, keys are like right in there. there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, I didn't even notice the key. He left the keys in there yeah. until nobody, he came back. Nobody did. I didn't either. Yeah. I was like, that and, was great. Um, and, and it was, and also they they uh, one of their elements. I think one of their props was a was a hook. And at the end of the film, mm. I'm not sure. I looked oh, yeah. really close, but I think the guy may have actually stuck, stuck the real it. hook Oof. in his in his arm. <laughs> mm. Like I looked at it and tried to figure out how else could you do it, but yeah. like, it, it, it looks like it's really in there. Yeah. And I yeah. think he may have just like been like, I'm just gonna take one for the team. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally steve it from Jackass. Yeah. When he did yeah. the whole 
shark yeah, fishing thing. And so it, that one made me cringe the more I thought about it. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> that's Don't they, hurt put, for the they put everything into that one, <laughs> one shot. So also uh, one of a just a really cool little stunt that they did. So the guy actually gets hit by a car. Oh yeah, it wasn't yeah. going that fast. You no. know, and he jumps on it, but still, like the the car was like coming at him like 15 miles an yeah. hour, and it's the kind of thing like I think the rest of us would end up trying to. Oh, we'll just do something at After Effects. Yeah. yeah, but they were just no, just drive the car. Just I'll just do I'll it, just man. jump on it, yeah. and, and he falls into it. That's a um, young college student's mentality, right there. It's like the idea yeah. of me even. <laughs> trying to roll, I was like, I'll break my hip, I don't want to do that. This was the guy who I think was fine with this being his last film. He was <laughs> like, I, I, will, I will be glad to die from being run over or from tetanus <laughs> for this film. Uh, and yeah, it was just a lighthearted, just funny, goofy film. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, it, it, it was, was a lot of really fun. Enjoyed. All right, next one up is uh, Safe by Sofa Couch Movie Film. This is a very creepy film. Yes. Um, this was actually one that it, it I thought had one of the best twists of the festival. Was just with the uh, the wife who's in the wheelchair. I'm going to spoil it, so go watch it if you haven't. And then watch at the end, know. you realize, oh, she's not even in a wheelchair. <laughs> Which just made it even all the more creepy. Yes. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, um, uh, you know, they... they <laughs> the, the woman, I guess the escort or, or whatever that yeah. situation yeah. Did, and, they, and he's like, here, just touch this woman. And you see her and she's just yeah. <laughs> And it's like, no, no, she just likes to no, watch. She just likes to watch. <laughs> and, then, and then to find out that she's perfectly healthy just makes it, well, then, oh. then that's even weirder yeah. role play. It's like, man, they're, they're just some freaky stuff, man. There's a <laughs> lot of twi- there was a lot of twists in the whole film festival. Yeah. And this was one of them because it starts off with the the... the thieves or whatever and they're texting back and forth and you think oh this is it's actually pretty funny back and forth yeah and then it just it was some it was some funny on a dime it just turned into some and that was one of my like favorite uh shots actually in the movie the film festival and it was such a simple thing when the when they go inside and then he closes the door and you just see he's standing standing right right there in the the corner i was like what a great reveal for him that was that was a fantastic way of uh and that immediately puts you on edge about what's happening with this couple Mm. and then the and then it turns into some weird uh, blue (laughs) velvet type (laughs) stuff (laughs) and uh and and then the thieves suddenly become more comical with yeah. their texts yes. and everything and the timing on the text too it's like that was that was great i mean just to yeah to be able to have that many laughs with just when the text would arrive and what it would say or something like that yeah like, that's it's great and timing it, and it changed it totally changed the the perspective from like which character you're rooting for yeah. and, mm-hmm. and uh uh, and then I think the I think the closing scene where they're going through that sort of weird concrete labyrinth. Yes. Yeah, awesome like, location. I was curious I where that where was. They shot that. Yeah, yeah, same here. It looks so creepy, and so and, yeah, and I'm hoping to find out so I can steal it for yeah. for a, a film. And I hope it wasn't actually their basement. Cause that's <laughs> very disturbing. Uh, winner for uh, uh, best director, mm-hmm. uh, Carrie yeah. Thompson. Um, for that film, yeah, and uh, they, wanna, they won a lot of best stuff. Best writing and uh, well, they win or run, runner up. I don't remember. They best writing. They, yeah. they, they, they were a winner okay. for best writing. I can't yeah. remember. They won like two other awards though. I there was think. one that they uh, there was one award that best was cast. New. Best cast. Best cast. Best cast because uh, you know again it was it was a great ensemble. Everybody worked very well mm-hmm. to create that atmosphere. There's yeah. not yes. one person who stood out more than the other, yeah. which is uh, tremendous when you can get that out of your act. Yeah, um, and then they had the Future Feature Award, which yes. was an yes, award so that we created because we thought there's a number of films that would would do very well to play as a feature length film, and that one had so many twists and turns yes. in it, and yeah. so many dynamics between all these different characters yeah. that mm-hmm. like you think each set of character has a much larger story, yeah. and, and and I think that one uh, rightfully uh, earned that award because yeah. you want to know more. 
Yeah. Or or you don't. Oh yeah. Or yeah, you I just be know. like, no. That's I'm enough. Good. That's, uh, <laughs> I don't need to know anymore. I don't need to don't know about the whole paraplegic the role play. <laughs> 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 he doesn't get a safe word. Like, what are they gonna do to him? <laughs> And I love that their their password for the uh, alarm code is strange love. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Are they yes, film yeah. buffs or are they into? That's awesome. Kinky love. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the next one is captured by BTM Productions. This one, this was this was a weird one because the original file that w that we got from the filmmakers was called abducted, and the whole thing, the whole uh, thing was okay. about the it was about the girl who got yes. abducted. Okay. But yes. then, like their title uh, was uh, captured uh, at the end of it, and so we <laughs> didn't know what the name of this film actually <laughs> was. So we tried to contact them, and and, and we couldn't get a hold of them. So it's. A, I think it'd be better to say it's captured because that's what it says at the at the yeah. beginning of the credits. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is very, very, uh, very bizarre, uh, yes. weird kind of. Very uh, cerebral. It, it didn't answer a whole lot of questions. Yeah. One thing that I kept thinking throughout is like when she first gets picked up in the car and she says, "I was abducted." Everyone just assumes she means aliens, and I was like, "Well, I'll, I'll take you home." It's like. Call the police! <laughs> I was thinking the whole time that she got abducted by like some person yeah. or something, and then she uh, she was you know very easily getting abducted right then. Yeah. Right? yeah. And so, <laughs> um, and there was a very funny line, which was uh, just be sure to get her tested for uh, yes. drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh, and and the actress that played the uh, played the main character, she had this very detached look through, uh, which I don't know. If that was deliberate, or maybe that's just the way this actress is. Yeah, she almost seemed very, yeah. It was. I noticed it, was it too. It was almost like it had, she... a, had, a, had a smirk kind of yeah, like I was like, days, and it was very, very off-putting yes, in, yes. in, in a strange way. And then um, had a great use of natural lighting too in the kitchen scene mm -hmm. when they go into it. They put it right next to the door of the kitchen, and it just lit it yeah. very beautifully. I thought. Yeah, the whole like, thing oh. had a very ethereal kind of look yeah, to it. Yeah. It was very soft and. Uh, um, and I think their use of action was uh, was break, and this was a this was a hard one to determine because she tripped in the woods and, and broke a stick, and it was just like a really quick shot. But then there was a really major break, which was actually the car breaking in front of the girl, ah, okay. which is spelt differently. But I would have uh, I think it's, it still oh, counts. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that would, yeah, it's definitely. a different kind of break, but it's like. It, that, you know, it's like that was very you know immediate. Like, and, yeah, that's that was really good. All right, next one up is digging a leg up productions. Another one we were confused on the title of. I think it's <laughs> digging ourselves out. Uh, but the file just originally came in as digging, and so we thought that was the name for it for a long time. Oh, that time. was the yeah. one with the the girl in the pigtails that was wearing the overalls that she dug out like the her mom's wedding ring. I couldn't remember it until just now. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the family. The family was yeah. in a financial crisis, and uh, yes. oh uh, yes, and it had the two it had the two uh, um, uh, brothers in it. That were the actress who played the mom really stood out to me in that movie. Actually. Yeah, she did absolutely. a fabulous job. I thought. Yeah, um, um, and and she was and she was quite quite young, I believe. I don't yeah. I don't I don't know her her actual age, but I mean she uh, I believe is a, a student that was on this was a student team. Hmm. Um, but yeah, she did a very good job playing. Uh, sort of uh, two roles of the mother, the one that was really stressed out, but then yeah. in front of the kids, you know, put on the mother's face and, and yeah. uh, was very trying to be very positive about it. Uh, and it was a, and it was a, a touching little film and, yeah. and uh, had a lot of had a lot of uh, pretty shots and a very yeah. very nice cinematography. Yeah, and it was very good. A support group by H N W Robert Pattison. H H N W <laughs> His name was Robert Pattison. That was the name of the. I think one of the most entertaining team, team names. Yes, <laughs> I thought that was great when I saw. It. I was like, oh, 
that's a fabulous name. <laughs> there was a few people who saw it and were just like, yeah! <laughs> and you start it. chanting it in the theater. It's like, his name was Robert Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this was this was a uh, a film that was uh, kind of I think it was kind of a mixed group of different people that just sort of uh, I think some of the actors came from a team that uh, didn't end up making it. There was one team that they they had paid for the registration, but then like it fell apart and they had no crew. And then like and then some of them went on to this team. So it was a lot of people who had never worked with each other before. Um, and it was it was a bizarre kind of film. You didn't know where it was going. Yeah. And I think like right in the middle, it just started becoming pretty hilarious. Yeah. And, and another one that had some some pretty funny uh, one-liners too. Yeah. It was uh, very well done. It was actually Wendy Bowerman. I became friends with her on Facebook. She was mm -hmm. her first yeah. film that yeah. she ever directed, oh, really? and I was like, wow, that that's pretty amazing. It didn't look like a first film at all. Yeah, it was a, it was a film that you know started kind of silly, and he didn't know where it was going to go, and then like right in the middle, they end up like killing the guy. Yeah. And and one of the best lines is like, "There's it's like you just killed somebody at our support group for or it was like a support group meeting for grief, yeah. our grief meeting support group, yeah. and, and they have this dead body, and I thought that was just hilarious, a, a hilarious concept. There, I got the worst part. And uh, just a goofy film. Oh, it was yeah. really goofy. One of my favorite gags, I think, was when the the guy gets released from the hospital and the uh, nurse, you know, wheels him out. And then it's like he gets like a phone call or something. It's just like a text. And he's looking at him. He's like, is he okay to go? And he's walking. And we go, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, just, he's fine. Yeah, hey, he's, how you doing? And it's yeah, like, so great. And then and then they have the credits. And then right after, there's a shot where they're putting him in the back of the car, and he whacks his head on the floor. Oh, funny. <laughs> which to me made me laugh like harder than anything. So awesome. uh, it is just such a silly, uh, funny kind of slapstick yeah. situation. It's one of those movies you kind of can see that they were having fun while making yeah, you know, it. Yeah, it was fun on set because it seemed to go you know, bleed into the movie a little bit. And I think that that translates a lot into some of the movies. You could tell some of the ones that even some of the films that weren't as good as the other ones, you can tell like, oh, but they were definitely were having a riot yeah. when yeah. they were doing this. And yeah. that's what you want to be doing is having yeah. a blast while making them. Yeah. Make it a film's not fun, then it's just. Eh. Yeah. Which, as opposed to, you know, the Jacob Boyd's movies, is like you, you watch those, and if you've ever worked with him, you know it was a nightmare. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a nightmare. We're rolling. We, we got that right. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Sorry, I was. Have a flashback. Next film up is The Hike by Jim 366 Sec. -C. We had no idea what that team name meant. We mm -hmm. were trying to decipher it. Turns out that's the uh, that's the name of a uh, um, journalism class at uh -huh. UT. <laughs> they just put the name of, of the <laughs> class. Nice. Awesome. What's was this like, for? <laughs> and, it, and also very. And then I thought it was very strange. It was like. How is it that a journalism class has got like wrapped up into into the filmmaking? <laughs> yeah. uh, this was a this was a hard, this was a weird one. This was a, it actually got quite a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it in the theater, and, and it's it, it, I don't think they really had a, a script when they made this. I think they just kind of made it off the cuff. Uh, and the girl running around with fly swatters just seemed like it, it was <laughs> just a very uh, but, spur of the moment idea. Yeah, but it played into her character not liking nature though and stuff like that. And, 
bugs and stuff, so it kind of played into it. it was, but it was had, random. She definitely had a lot of just that that sort of uh, psycho woman attitude going on. That was that was pretty funny. I think it stood out with this movie, especially was the uh, the overlook that they went to. They filmed at that overlook downtown Knoxville and the bridges. Yeah, and it's like I'd never seen that place before. I'd never seen that angle of Knoxville before. It's it's funny. I I hadn't either, and and it's some sort of trail that I think is very well known. Must be well known to UT students because there was another UT film, uh, The Bucket List. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They went to the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes <laughs> you wonder if they like, sort of just pass each other on the trail, like. Hey. I wondered that. I wonder if, like, if if they're if they're walking up there, the bucket list is walking up, and then they're coming down with fly swatters. They got like, the camera. And just oh man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Well, yeah. my mind is they take place in the same universe, though. Well, bucket list guy is over here, like. There's an bucket interesting. List. Let's just There's create this... a theory about all, his <laughs> all films. of them. Take place. <laughs> the all the fifty-four place. cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> It was the fly swatter girl gave the other guy cancer. Oh, so that's what it was. Oh, man. It's all coming together. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. <laughs> um, yeah, a very, very just strange, uh, funny, goofy film. And, and a great and joke at the end, too, about how when it pans out and she's telling him, that was the worst date I ever had. And it's a, a new guy. Yeah. You know? I think I would think it would have been better if they just gone a step further and showed the camera pull out and that guy was telling a girl, that was the worst date I ever had. And then it pulled out and that girl was telling another guy. Uh, that, yeah. So it was just a story that was being related kept, until, yeah. until the last girl you know, was a girl with fly swatters. <laughs> That was me in that story. The credits can just keep going up over this, you know? <laughs> so the next one is Laia, the other guys. I think it's Leah. Oh, Leah. 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 Sorry. This was one of my one of my favorites because it really took its time and just got slowly creepy, and uh, it, and it was it took a while for you to realize that this main girl is some sort of psychotic monster, yeah. and and because you don't really see her doing anything bad until the very end, and it was kind of out of a fit of rage. But there's all these little hints throughout it. And uh, my favorite is there's a scene where the babysitter's coming down. She kicks the cat food bowl and she says, like, cat food everywhere. I haven't even seen the cat all weekend. Mm -hmm. And then the very next scene, the girl is telling her brother, it's like, you hear that? Our cat is missing. (laughs) He's like, how do you know that? And she just goes, (laughs) good night, Charlie, (laughs) and leaves. Good night, Charlie. (laughs) You know that girl killed that cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she totally killed that cat, but it's so subtle that mm-hmm. you know they didn't they didn't go all the way and just say we got to prove to everyone yeah. this girl is a psychopath. They yeah. just made these little hints. Acted it. wonderfully by that uh, uh, actress too, the little girl. She, yeah, she was. She won. Yeah, she obviously she, yeah. you know won won best child actress because of that, and and the boy won best child actor. Um, because it's very hard to to get kids to act in a movie to begin with, mm. but not only that, but to get both of them to have these great facial expressions and reactions. And carry the film. I mean, and, they and carry the, the whole leads. film. Yeah, it's like it was really amazingly done. Yeah, had a very the good son vibe to it. You know. Yeah, Nicole and, and it just it was just very slow and very subtle, and and there's just and going. That's one that I went back and watched a few times over just because I thought it was very intriguing and I especially love the fact that they did a vertigo shot yes in the film. yes mm. it's and, and it's which was almost going to be the curveball challenge uh, oh, was awesome. like try to do a vertigo shot and then I thought there's no way people can't do vertigo shots with the SLRs I don't know what they filmed that with but there's that one shot of her sitting at the table and it just yeah. pulls yeah. in and then you know she's she's trouble. It's very difficult doing a vertigo shot. It's like we tried to do that for the seven day uh, for rear view. When the headlights come on, it was supposed to be a vertigo uh, pull in shot. Yeah. And just couldn't do it's, it. It's, it's, just, it's, it's really it's impossible. Hard. It's really hard to nail <laughs> it's just down. Like, yeah. 
And they did a great job. Yeah, that uh, was a really r memorable film, though, because of the story and just the two uh, actors. Yeah, Very and, well and watching and listening to the audience kind of like become a little bit more uncomfortable yeah. as it went on and just ooh and ooh. And it got worse, too, because it was like a big... That was when that rain really hit the theater, though, too. Yes. And so it was just like... Oh man, you can just feel it. She's bringing evil with her. <laughs> <laughs> it's transcending the screen. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a better atmosphere for that film. Oh yeah, so. it was it was so funny. Um, next is uh, Tomic Oasis Productions, the Omega Protocol. That is, is the Omega Protocol colon a Department Twenty Four tale. Yes, one of the long, uh, the <laughs> longest title of, of the uh, of the film fest. This was another one that just had 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 a lot of funny moments in it, and then just had some very unsettling moments mm -hmm. in it. And I think by the end of it, people were really kind of creeped out mm -hmm. by this film, and still not entirely sure what was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was, um, and this is. Uh, I talked to the uh, filmmaker uh, Gabe Crutchfield, who was the writer and director, and uh, he. You know, they waited until nightfall before they filmed. The entire thing was filmed, I think, Saturday night. So they had cables and everything like set out in the yard, like trying to, you yeah. know, trying to get it lit, and did some really cool stuff with it. It was impressive that they shot the whole thing at night on Saturday. It wasn't Friday night. It was Saturday night. Oh until no! Like yeah, four in the morning, and it's yeah. like, man, that's just. That's what, and that's what they that's, did, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Um, and there's just some really creepy shots of the the monster covered in blood, like yeah. coming out, and and a really awesome shot of the uh, woman just gutted in half. Yes. Where, yes. Where, and it's something that I'm still not entirely sure how that was done. I think uh, uh, Liz uh, Kraut did the makeup. She did the the her. makeup for that film. Yeah. And, um, and did the uh, some of the special effects, and they won uh, the award for best special effects. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think probably because of that w one shot, yeah. which, which was excellent, really, enough. really gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I almost wish it was more prevalent, though. Like it was kind of covered, if I remember correctly, by the fog or something like that that they had put over. I was kind of, mm -hmm. I wish I would have seen more of just the guttedness. But yeah. then, does it lose its PG thirteen rating when mm -hmm. you show? That was that was the I got a text uh, uh, during the, the shoot from Gabe, and he asked uh, he was asking about that PG thirteen rating, and he says, "Are entrails okay?" <laughs> and I said, "Entrails are perfectly fine yeah. with me. Like I'm not I'm not that strict about the <laughs> about the gore." I'm actually, uh, that must be the greatest text ever to receive. Lynn <laughs> <laughs> Trails over here? Yeah. I am so looking forward to this movie now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you it's are right. already my favorite. And if there weren't in trails. <laughs> yeah. Every movie should have in trails. And out trails. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, he did a really good job with it. And I know it takes place within his uh, cinematic universe that he's building. He's one the, of the local filmmakers that's sort of crafted all of his films in this universe. Uh, and, and this one, it, it had the tagline a department 24 tale which is a reference to a um, uh, a web series he's uh, been working on called uh, um, who is john porter mm -hmm. and department 24 is almost kind of like it seems like they're a mixture of like the x files yeah. and the men in black yeah. only yeah. like <laughs> only like the agents are like not don't like take things that seriously yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really strange stuff so this is actually kind of like a spin-off of that web series mm. and then it's also there's other things that are like connected to all these other different films he's done for the 54 and the seven day uh, and going back you know to the 24 so it, and and but then people who haven't seen those people who, who this is the first time at one of these festivals you know that don't that don't realize that it's still just this creepy kind mm. of uh, uh, you know uneasy movie that yeah. you're just like, Ugh, you know, the thing coming out of the woods. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, just building the universe like that. It's like the the time it takes to connect it like that. You it's, know? it's And it's a complicated process 
and hard to do without spoiling each film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for one thing, that that uh, the Omega Protocol, you can watch that, and you don't need to know yeah. any of the things. There's a, you know there's a joke about like vampires in the 80s, which is a, re a direct reference to one of his old films. But it's written as a joke yeah. in this film, and so it does not, it doesn't spoil it. It just makes for like a funny, lighthearted moment. Yeah, it's awesome. So now we're actually, that's the end of block A. All right, so we're going to go through an intermission now. Get your popcorn, go to the bathroom. <laughs> We're not, we're not rocket ships, don't count.